let's talk about building links. So why backlinks? Backlinks are a ranking factor and Google values them a lot. This is known in the SEO world. So you need to have backlinks linking to your site or to all your other properties. And you need quality and relevant backlinks. Of course, there's some occasions where you are looking to build lower quality, less relevant backlinks. But the idea is that most of your uh, link portfolio is compiled of quality and relevant backlinks. And of course, backlinks increase trust and relevance in Google's eyes. Now, regarding the anchor text um, you should use to build your backlink. So there's four types, uh, naked URL. So this is your URL of your business. So yourbiz.com with, with the HTTPS, without it, just the yourbiz.com domain. Then we have branded anchors, which is your business name. And this is something that people often get wrong. So these count as two different ways of writing your business name. So with the capital letters or without it. So these are two ways of having branded anchors if you want to if you want to diversify your anchor text rotation a little bit. Then of course we have the exact match anchors, for example, a plumber Dallas, and the partial match anchors, which is for example, find a quality plumber in Dallas. Now, linking structure. And this is this is important. So let's say this is your website. You have the home page, you have two service pages, a contact us page, a blog page, and then you have two product pages that are linked to from each one of these service pages. So you don't want to just build links to your homepage. So it's good to build links to your homepage because since the homepage is connected to all of these pages, the links you build here will trickle down to all of these pages. So the links you build to the homepage will trickle down to all of these pages. But you also want to build links to the service pages, okay? The contact page, the blog page. So you don't just want to build links to your homepage. This is a mistake that a lot of people do, but you don't want to build links just to the homepage. Most of your links will inevitably come to the homepage because it's what's most natural. Most links that link to a website in most of the cases are to the homepage, but you also want to link to your service pages and to all your other pages on your website. And of course, these links we will be talking about in a later video, but these links could be links from citations, links from your social media. So for example, of course, your homepage website in the footer might have a link to your YouTube, to the Twitter, to the Facebook page. So your homepage links to these social medias and these social medias link back to your homepage. Guest posts, press releases, and some other and some other backlink types we'll be talking about later on. Now, like I said in the beginning, you're looking for quality links. So no PBNs, no Web 2.0s, no non-friendly Google links. That's what we're looking at for now. The first type of links are citations, which are basically links from business directories. These are your Yelp, your Foursquare, your Bing, Yellow Pages, Hot Frog. And these ones allow you to, uh, you know, and we have a video on this. We have the here the citation, and these allow you to have your business information and then a link back to your site, which is what we want. Then, like I mentioned above, your social media profiles. You want to make sure all your social media profiles are set up even if you don't use them a lot, you want to make sure you set up at least the main ones. So Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. There's more, there's LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr. There's a bunch of other social media platforms, which, which I understand that you most likely won't use, but make sure you set them up and at least use this, these four for the, for linking them from your website. And when you post um, something on Twitter, for example, syndicate it to Facebook and in turn syndicate it to your website. So let's say, for example, you make a Twitter, you send out a tweet. This is a tweet that has something about your business and a link to your homepage. Or sorry, a link to your uh, to a Facebook post you made. So now you have Twitter that links out to a Facebook post that links out to your money site. Okay, you wanna make sure you interlink everything. Then another type of link building uh, strategy are press releases. And I'm gonna show you an example. And what you wanna do with these press releases, you wanna make the most out of it. So you wanna make sure you embed your map. This is for local SEO and to try and rank your GMB as well. You wanna make sure you embed your map images regarding your business. Your, you wanna make sure you include your keyword in the title. Your, you mentioned your service area. You wanna include long tails versions of your keywords in the text, so in the article body. You wanna link, of course, to your website and link to some trustworthy source. And let me show you an example of what I mean. So this is a press release example. This one's from Digital Journal. And as you can see, you have the title with your keywords in it, an SEO optimized article with your keywords in it as well, and then links out to your social media. And on this one, because this is not entirely a local business, uh, there wasn't any map embedded here, but you can ask them to embed your Google My Business uh, map here, which will again bring in more relevance to your GMB. So if they can do it, 
So make sure to ask them to include a GMB to include your map and some images. Also, something I want to mention is that um, you see here your social media linked. Uh, something you can do is uh, use an IFTT network, which is an if this then that network to sort of help you out and syndicate your uh, social media posts across all of your other social medias. So say, uh, for example, and, and these are recipes, they're, they're called recipes and they're super easy to create. But the idea here is, as I was mentioning, so you can create a Facebook post and then link out to Twitter. What this does is, so when you post on Facebook, it syndicates to Twitter, it syndicates to Instagram, or when you post on Instagram, it tweets uh, something. So you can use IFTT, if this and that, it's totally, totally free to use. Um, IFTT networks to uh, help you syndicate your social media content and help you and help spread your brand across all of the internet. Then we have some competitor link building. This is basically where you steal all your competitors links. So if you have all the links your competitors have and then some more, you'll most likely be one step ahead of them. And this is this is the idea with this. So you can use a tool like Ahrefs, SEMrush, and there's a bunch of tools that allow you to uh, free and pay that allow you to place the URL of your competitor site on there. And you can then look through all the links they have, they have built so far. And you can see, make a list, like make, for example, an Excel cheat and see which of those links are free to create. And you can either create them yourself or pay someone to do it for you. Or you can uh, look through the links that are paid for and try and get in touch with those websites and ask for the prices to get a link posted on there as well. Then we have local sponsorship links and charity event sponsorship links. These might be a bit expensive to get, but they're really, really relevant because they're coming ideally from local, as it says here, local sponsorship uh, charities or, 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 or businesses that do events near you. So these are not only powerful, but relevant. And, and what you do to find these types of links is you type in URL, colon, sponsorship, and then your uh, town or city names. So for example, New York City, I was looking through these ones. The first one is a LinkedIn job. So you, you need to look through them, but I found one here, which is a which is an organization here in New York City where you can apply to become a partner of theirs. And uh, I'm not entirely sure of this, but uh, I'd say that if you uh, become a partner and help them out, of course, make a donation, um, you would appear here. And of course, this uh, links out to these uh, sponsors websites. So, these are really, really powerful because they're relevant. So this comes from a New York City uh, domain, from a New York City company, so near you. And then their metrics uh, in theory. So most of these will be uh, trustworthy organizations with trustworthy websites and a lot of authority. So most of the times these sponsorship links from charities and, what, and whatnot will come from strong websites and strong domains. And again, they give you the relevance uh, factor. So that's how you get these uh, sorts of local sponsorship links. Then you have guest posts. Uh, this is, I'll make a video on this as well, but you can just go on onto any marketplace, Fiverr or whatever, and just search for guest posts. And there's a ton of people selling them that have access to, to these websites. But if you wanna try and find them, just use this as well, because when you when you put your competitor's links in Ahrefs or CMrush, uh, you'll find a bunch of links and you'll see that a lot of them will be guest posts, which basically a guest post is when you Get in, find a website, say for example, I have I own a, I own a dog grooming business and I find a website that talks about dogs. I get in touch with the um, owner of the website and I ask them how much for you to uh, make a post on your website and then link out to mine. So this is this is a guest post. It's basically you get in touch with the site owner or with someone that has access to posting on their site and ask them for a, a quote on posting an article on their site. Pretty straightforward. You can again pay someone to do it for you or find them through your competitors, through analyzing your competitors using a free and or paid tool. Then, uh, so most of these links, so citations and social media links, so I think Twitter is do follow, but Facebook and others are no follow. And uh, you, you're gonna have a lot of links that are no follow, okay? But this is not necessarily bad. So are no follow links bad? No. So because why is this? So you're getting your brand name out there and Google values that a lot. So you're building up brand authority, even though the links you're building or some of them will be no follow. Don't worry about it because you are building up your brand and letting Google know that your brand exists and you're spreading your brand all over the internet. So don't worry if some of the links are no follow, they're also valuable. And that's what I have to tell you in regards to backlinking. I'll have another video on it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.